Hello, welcome to part 9 of the how to set up your Raspberry Pi to monitor greenhouses and other environments and control various things. Uh, in this section we're going to set up our uh, Raspberry Pi to support Python and MySQL DB together. Uh, this way we can uh, send and receive data using Python uh, to the MySQL database. So, first off, we'll go over well, we'll go into a Python file quick, and I'll just show you, for example, on the greenhouse pi, the code that's associated with running uh, running the pi that's collecting the data that you see on the charts. So let's just go into root, and then we'll do a list of the files. Actually, we'll do a list long. OW temperature ow underscore temperature dot pi so it's ow underscore temperature dot pi alright so we've opened the file with the editor emacs and we're now we're looking at uh, the code inside Python file that drives the data collection. So you can see how everything stands out in different colors depending on what type of line it is, what type of data is it is. Uh, you'll notice that um, that uh, the stuff with the uh, hashtag sign in front of it is in red. That stuff that's commented out that Python doesn't process when it processes this code. Anyway, I just wanted to get you an idea as to why we're installing Emacs, so you have a little better idea of where we're going forward in the future. So uh, I'll go ahead and close that with Control X C, and I'll go ahead and exit out of this, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is install Emacs. So we're going to go over here. Uh, we're on our, uh, our Raspberry Pi. We're going to go sudo su. And then we're going to copy and paste the sudo apt-get install emacs command. It asks you if you want to go ahead and install it. Say yes. And it'll go ahead and download it. All right. So now we've finished installing emacs. The next thing we're going to do is install MySQL DB for Python. This is a thread compatible interface for the popular MySQL database server that provides the Python database API. In other words, this helps Python integrate with MySQL DB. So we'll go ahead and do that next. You can just copy and paste. Of course, I'll put this stuff in the description for you. Okay, and you can see I've already got it installed and at the newest version. That's okay. And then we'll go ahead and make sure we have PyCurl installed. PyCurl is a Python interface to libcurl. PyCurl can be used to fetch objects identified by a URL from, Python, uh, from a Python program, similar to the URL library Python module. Uh, PyCurl is mature, very fast, and supports a lot of features. So uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. In part 10, we will go over how to install the Adafruit DHT22 sensor files, the Adafruit library. Um, so we'll take care of that in part 10 and then in part 11 I think we'll start jumping into uh, either the Python code itself or maybe we'll jump into hardware connections quick so you can actually uh, test a sensor and learn how to uh, how to pull it and use it and uh, a little bit more about it. So uh, hopefully you found this uh, at least entertaining if not helpful useful educational. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.